everybody, it's Lady Mal, and this is Luna. Um, she's decided to perch on the back of my chair. So, today's movie is called The Possession of David O'Reilly. Now, unlike my other vlogs, I'm not going to tell you the whole story because this movie is a serious, um, what's the best way to put it? Mind fuck. I mean, if you just watch it, Without any pretenses, it's really freaking good. Um, it starts off with, uh, you know, just a normal couple. It's set in London. Um, normal couple. Um, they're doing normal things, eating, whatnot. They fall asleep watching a movie. Um, Alex, the man, uh, wakes up and starts talking to Kate, the girl, and... All she says is, don't answer it, don't answer it. And he's like, what do you mean, don't answer it? And then she wakes up. Then there's a knock at the door. And um, they're confused. And it's their friend, David, who ha is in quite a state of disarray and is confused and looks kind of upset, asks if he can come in. They say, yes, of course. They start talking. They find out that he believes that his... I don't know, his girlfriend is cheating on him. And um, as, as one blogger put it about this movie, this movie is everything paranormal activity wishes it could be. Because while you sit and wait in paranormal activity and you wait and you wait and you wait and nothing happens, hello Luna, um, crazy stuff starts happening like right off the bat. Um, yeah, she likes to be a parrot cat. I, it's purring in my ear. Anyway, um, it becomes pretty apparent that something freaky is going on. David's very skittish. He keeps seeing things out of the corners of his eyes. Um, and that's really all I'm going to go into it because I don't want to spoil it. I really, really want you to watch this movie. It's on Netflix. It's not hard to find. The Possession of David O'Reilly. It is crazy. It is good. I love it. Uh, and it, it's not a very well-known movie, but um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, I'm going to let y'all decide what you think about it. <clears throat> now, my other topic, which I was going to do in another vlog, but since this one ended up being so short, I'm just going to combine it. Um, this one is about the movie company called The Asylum. Oh my God. Okay. So, we start with one of their movies, okay? I'm going to start with the actual movie and then their version. So, you've heard of a little franchise called, you know, Alien, Aliens, uh, you know, Predator, one through a billion, Alien, and then we have Aliens versus Predator, right? Their version is Alien versus Hunter. I mean, and they don't even go to try to change the the picture you know with the the alien on one side and the predator on the other it's the it, it looks sort of like the alien and sort of like the predator i mean seriously these people are skirting copyright infringement um then we've got um uh instead of the hills have eyes we have the hillside cannibals which mind you all of their movies um it's the same plot as the actual like first movie They've just changed names and locations. Um, that's really it. The plot pretty much stays the same, and it's much worse than the original movie. Okay, then we have, you know, the Pirates of the Caribbean series, right? Awesome series. Their version, Pirates of Treasure Island. Uh, then, uh, I think it was called When a Stranger Calls. Uh, this one is When a Killer Calls. Uh, instead of Aragon, we have Dragon. I was real freaking original. Uh, instead of I am legend, I am Omega. And this one kills me. Uh, instead of Transformers, we have Transmorphers. Instead of uh, High School Musical, it's Sunday School Musical. Now this one, I don't even know how they got away with it. Instead of Terminator, it's The Terminators. And instead of Death Race, which I haven't seen, but I've seen Death Race 2 and it's freaking awesome. Uh, it's Death Racers. Okay. Uh, and it just keeps going. Instead of snakes on a plane, it's snakes on a train. A and then we have, um, they tried to make their own original movies. 
Um, yeah, it wasn't really that great. Uh, my son loves it, but he's 10. Uh, Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. You know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, th those are just terrible. And then we've got, let's see, um, instead of the Da Vinci Code, we have the Da Vinci Treasure. Um, uh, I think, okay, instead of King Kong, we have King of the Lost World. Uh, instead of 10 million, or I'm sorry, 10,000 BC, we have 1 million, 100 million BC. Uh, yeah, it's really, really terrible. Um, instead of the Sherlock Holmes, it's Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes. Uh, which, by the way, also has a steampunk Iron Man in it. So, yeah, uh, it's, oh, God, it's terrible. I mean, they've got so many movies. Um, you know, the movie 11, 11, 11? Yeah, they did that one. And they did the sequel, 12, 12, 12. Um, it's of the 40-year-old version. We have the 18-year-old version. Two-Headed Shark Attack, which was freaking terrible. Another one of their original movies. Um, we have 2010 Moby Dick, 2012 Doomsday. Gotta add the Doomsday. Um, three, with the letter, th uh, number three, Musketeers. Uh, instead of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, we have 30,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Instead of uh, 30 Days of Night, we have 40 Days and Nights. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just really, Abraham Lincoln versus Zombies, instead of Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Uh, instead of The Hobbit, we have Age of the Hobbits. I mean, some of these are just terrible. Uh, instead of Thor, it's Almighty Thor. Instead of Battleship, it's American Battleships. I'm sorry, American Warships. Instead of the... Now, see, that's... Instead of Amityville Haunting, we have The Amityville Haunting. Uh... Annalise, which was actually pretty good. Um, instead of Apocalyptica, we have the Apocalypse. I mean, it, it's instead of Battle, Battle colon Los Angeles, it's Battle of Los Angeles. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, instead of uh, the day the Earth stood still, it's the day Earth stopped. I mean, it's it's pretty terrible, and uh, like I, I'm still scrolling through some of these because you know thankfully they have them all hello Luna they have them all listed um you know in case you actually want to buy some of these things I don't know why anybody would but you know uh instead of land of the lost it's the land that time forgot um yeah or this one Nazis at the center of the earth that sounds real good right Instead of Paranormal Activity, we have Paranormal Entity. Um, yeah, it was pretty terrible. I mean, they just keep going on and on. And it's... I don't understand. I know they have actually gotten sued for copyright infringement. Because it's... I mean, obviously, you can tell that... Oh, I'm sorry. They also have the Titanic 2, you know. Because that's such a good movie to have a sequel to. But... Anyway, um, the only good Asylum movie I've seen, and it's not fabulous, but it's pretty decent, was Annalisa, The Exorcist Tapes. The rest of the Asylum movies, they just really make me want to cry. They're so bad. I don't understand why anybody would want to watch them. So, anyway, that's my rant. And that's my vlog for today. I'm having a great time doing these things. I'm almost kind of sad that and exactly a week from today, it'll be over with. Um, but the month of November will give me a little time to recuperate because, Jesus, do it. A vlog every day is, oh my gosh, it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I mean, even though my life isn't all that exciting, it's still, you know, oh crap, I got to remember to do this. But starting in December, um, I don't know if I'm going to do the 12 days of Christmas or, or if I'm going to do... Christmas starting on December 1st. Um, but every day I'm going to try, going to try, um, to do something different. You know, talk about a myth or a legend or 
where this started or where that started or a song or something. Um, I don't know. It, it just depends on what, what tickles my fancy that day. But it, it will be something Christmas themed every day. Um, November is going to be just my normal vlogs. I've got a ton of questions that I've been asked, so I'm going to do vlogs on those. Um, my daddy's going to do at least one vlog. I don't know how many he's going to do, but he's going to try. Um, towards the end of November, <clears throat> that week before Thanksgiving, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done because, you know, kids are out of school. My family comes in. Oh, I'm just so happy about that. Um, so I'll be doing a lot of stuff, a lot of baking and stuff like that. So that week of November, in November, um, I may or may not get a whole lot of vlogs done. So y'all forgive me. But until then, go watch The Possession of David Riley, O'Reilly and uh, avoid the asylum. Luna and I say bye. Love y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>